I remember the book the first time, seeing that the faces behind the barbed wire, well, you know, they looked a little bit like mine, but more like my mother's. Yes, my mother, who had come from the belly of a Japanese Red Army nurse, only to spill herself on that Chinese soil as the real Red Army went and captured her dad. And I remember that my mother, you know, she was forgotten. Yes, shoved to the back of the back, an invisible child, Casper the ghost, like only she was real, but not 100% grade A real Japanese. And I guess we've always been hated walking up that hill to school taunted because she was a mixed breed, a half breed, and a zebra breed. And I remember that my American grandmother, you know, she was telling me about my American grandfather who'd wake up nights screaming, sweating bullets from the real ones he'd used to mow down the Japs and how they'd resist So even as he was pulling them alive, burning them alive out of foxholes in places like Okinawa and Iwo Jima. And I'm so proud that just a generation later that my dad, that my father could learn to love a people that his own dad had been taught to kill. But when it really comes down to it, my father really didn't learn jack shit if you ask me. If he could put up with the bigotry of, hey man, I heard your wife's pussy is slanted just like her eyes and still love that yellow-skinned woman while telling my brother just a generation later that he wasn't about to be bringing home any sisters and house niggers, even though he, my brother, was himself a mixed breed, a half-breed, and a zebra breed. You know, it's funny sometimes in life how we can learn to get along with people a lifetime away, but we really can't even seem to get along with those who have been our neighbors forever. I am the China man, hired to build this nation's railroads for 40% of what the man makes. And I am that Vietnamese prostitute who's selling herself down in Soho. I'm that Filipino who's cleaning your clothes and the toilets and the laundromats and the bathrooms of the big houses. I'm that Nisei running around seeing signs that say, no Japs served here. So speaking to a former Nisei who was himself a member of the famed 442nd in Hawaii, a half a lifetime later, he told me of going stateside to see his sister in a camp in Manzanar, California, and how sad he felt that day. Yes, how powerless he felt that day and that he was about to fight for the freedom of the greatest country in the world and you know what he could not even acquire hers and I guess we've always been hated with tears in his eyes he told me of how his division was actually the first American division of soldiers to liberate the concentration camps of Dachau and as they started to sweep throughout the camps the Jews began to look at him and wonder and then he began to wonder what the fuck am I doing here grimacing in the irony that it was his mother his sister his father his brothers that were in the camps themselves and for the very people he was fighting for Japanese, Chinese, Americanese. And I remember lying to my classmates and telling them that my mom was half white and half Japanese as if being 50% white wasn't even good enough. And I remember as a seven-year-old telling my mom not to speak Japanese to me in public or asking my American grandmother to come to Parents' Day instead of my real Asian mother. And I remember that same mother. You know, she changed her name from Sumiko to June like so many other GI's wives that were stripped partially of their identity only to lose it all and their children that could not even speak the language that they had known as their own. And then I remember and I forgot, like the rest of us, as our culture got awash, yes, lost, torn from the pages of history books that were never even writ written. And I remember that the rope was tied tight. Yo, man, what's the China man doing with the white woman like that? I remember I was kicking up dust and dirt and desperation. Yo, man, what's the China man doing with the white woman like that? You chink, you chong, you China man, you gone and got your tail cut off because I am Japanese, Chinese, Americanese, and I guess we've always been hated.